In this video, I'm going to take a look at how to get started with interpreting infrared spectra. Because when you first start with infrared, it can be quite daunting and knowing which absorptions to focus on and which ones to ignore. So what we're going to do is look at the key absorptions for alcohols, carboxylic acids and carbonyl compounds. So that's aldehydes and ketones. And of course, I'd really appreciate it if you like the video to hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so and switch on the notifications so you get to find out about future content. OK, so starting with the alcohols, I would say that there are two key absorptions that we should be focusing on. And I would say that the OH absorption is probably the most important one of these two. So we've got the OH absorption, and that happens in the range of 3,200 to 3,600 centimetres to the minus one. So that there is the OH absorption. So these tend to be smooth, sort of curved absorptions. They're not sort of spiky, sharp, spiky absorptions like these here. You can see there I've already labelled up the C single bond O absorption. So that's less important, I would say. It's always tied up in this sort of messy part of the spectrum at around about, well, you can see the range there between 1000 and 1300. So it's a bit more difficult to see exactly which one of these absorptions belongs to the C single bond O. But I would still make a point of identifying something in there. You'll notice we've also got this absorption here. Now, you always get something going on at around about the 3000 mark, but notice this is quite um, narrow, it's quite spiky. These are due to CH absorptions, and you always get them because all organic compounds are going to contain this bond. So before we move on to the carboxylic acids, I just want to switch to this spectrum here. So you can see we've got um, an absorption roughly the same sort of range as the previous one. So I know when I've set this um, in the past for my students, some of them think that that's an OH absorption of an alcohol and they would then say, well, this, this molecule must be an alcohol. I'm just going to bring the previous spectrum back on the screen there. So notice the difference in this sort of profile or the shape of the absorptions here. Remember, the OH absorption for an alcohol is quite smooth, it's curved. Whereas this one's spiky, so this is actually not an OH absorption of an alcohol. It's actually an NH absorption from an amine. So if you're in year 12 at the moment, you may not have come across amines yet. They're typically taught in year 13. And of course, you've still got this um, activity going on at 3000. There you see H's. So moving on to carboxylic acids now, we've got two key absorptions. We've also got the C single bond O as the range. Something in this sort of region here would be due to C single bond O, this bond here. But you can see these are the two um, key absorptions for carboxylic acid. So we've got the OH absorption. So if you notice, it tends to be broad. Okay, still fairly smooth, certainly in this part here. Gets a bit spikier here, and there obviously your CHs. The C double bond O absorption, so this occurs around about 1700, I always just remember that figure. Um, it's always very strong, so it kind of almost touches the bottom. It's not particularly broad, nowhere near as broad as that, so it's a sort of um, sharp, strong absorption um, due to the C double bond O. So for carboxylic acids, they're the two key bits of evidence from a spectrum. So the last group we're looking at is the carbonyls. So that's the aldehydes and ketones. So straight away, 1700 centimetres to the minus one, you can see the strong, sharp absorption. That's due to your C double bond O. I would always advise students to look at around about the 3000 and above region and just make some kind of comment on what we've got. So there obviously your CH is there, 
we haven't got an OH, we haven't got anything broad going on in this region, and so this molecule does not have an OH, these are just CHs. So it's worth making that point. Okay, so to check that's all made sense, we'll just do a quick um, analysis of these three infrared spectra. So you can see our options are one is ethanol, one is ethanol, and the other one is ethanoic acid. So let's see if you can, with evidence, assign those three spectra correctly. So if you want to just pause the video, have a go at that, and then play on when you're ready for the answers. We'll start with this one. So immediately I'm looking at around about sort of just above 3,000. Remember these are always CHs, these things here. So yeah, we've got something going on here. It's smooth, it's curved, it's fairly broad, not as broad as that one. And so this is looking like the OH of an alcohol. Um, the other thing I would probably say about this one is looking at 1700, we haven't got that strong absorption here. So we could say this molecule doesn't seem to have a seedable bond O. And the other thing we could say is something around about this 1000, 1100 mark is C single bond O. If we move on to this one, so we've already commented that this is broad. So this is looking like the OH of a carboxylic acid. And what else would we expect to see in a carboxylic acid? A C double bond O, which you can clearly see as your strong absorption at around about 1700 centimetres to minus one. So there's your C double bond O. And then moving on to this one, again, starting at around about the 3000 and above. Well, we've got your CHs here, but there's definitely not, nothing like this or nothing like this going on. And so these are just CHs. In other words, we haven't got an OH in this molecule. What we have got, though, is a C double bond O. So from the list of options, it's looking fairly likely that this one here is going to be ethanol, the alcohol. This is going to be ethanoic acid. And this is going to be the aldehyde, um, ethanol. 